Hi, I'm Rob, the boating guy. Now that you've decided to get started in boating, there's a few things that you want to be sure to include in your financial planning. The basics you want to account for include the cost of your boat, storage in the off-season, maintenance, fuel, and insurance. When it comes to financing, there are many lenders out there and several that specialize in serving the needs of boaters. They truly understand this area and they'll work with you to make sure that you get the best boat and the best financing for your needs. These days, you can find a starter boat with some accessories, safety gear, and a toy or two for as little as $200 a month. If you're buying a boat from a dealer, they can give you a helping hand with the loan process. Quite often, dealers will have a finance manager on staff who can handle the whole transaction or they may have an outside loan service company that can arrange the details for you. They're there to help you navigate through the process, so be sure to use their expertise. The same thing applies to figure out your options for off-season boat storage. Ask your dealer about what the options are and choose what works for you. Maintaining your boat and trailer equipment can be as simple as a freshwater washdown after each use and keeping things covered between adventures. This simple task can make a big difference in keeping maintenance costs at bay. With routine maintenance like oil changes and winterizing, you can expect to pay similar to what you would pay for a car's regular maintenance. These days, when it comes to fuel, you want to make sure that the costs won't be more than you expect. Typically, boating isn't an activity like driving where you're using gas all the time, especially if you're fishing or swimming and even more so if you use a sailboat. Most boats are under 21 feet and 64% of all boaters say they buy less than the equivalent of three tanks of gas for an SUV or minivan for the entire season. When you're looking at insurance, remember that policies can vary widely, and you also want to get a sense of how your insurer will work with you should the need arise. Talk to some boaters and get recommendations on a good marine insurance provider who will be your partner and work to tailor your coverage to fit your needs. For example, you may prefer a policy that covers you and your boating equipment for replacement or actual value, or provides you with so-called cruising extensions if you want to travel and trailer your boat far from home. Regardless, you should consider buying a separate policy for your boat because homeowners policies often place limits on marine-related risks. For smooth sailing, be sure to include these key items in your plan.